Welcome back, Track Trainers. This is NDL Jamer, and today we're diving into the wilds of Pocket Pixel, where I'll guide you through one of the game's most exciting areas, the Safari Zone. Whether you're aiming to catch rare Pokemon or just exploring new challenges, the Safari Zone has it all. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to get in and give you the best strategies for catching those elusive Pokemon. Let's get started and make every catch count. First, let's talk about the Safari Zone timing. In Vietnam time, the Safari Zone is open from around 5 p.m. to 7 p.m., which is also when the boss battles take place. Make sure to track the boss schedule to pick the right time according to your country's time zone. Next, you'll need a Safari Zone ticket. It's a bit pricey, so consider carefully before buying. Entering the Safari Zone costs 500 gems, and catching Pokemon there can be quite challenging. Sometimes you may leave without catching any Pokemon you're excited about. Now let's talk about the location of the Safari Zone. Follow my instructions in the video to find the way there. There are three different areas in the Safari Zone. Choose the area based on the type of Pokemon you prefer. Personally, I like Grass-type Pokemon, so I head to the Grassland Safari to catch them. This choice is entirely up to you, so feel free to explore the area that fits your preference. Once you find a Pokemon you want, follow these steps. First, throw two Lure Balls to make it harder for the Pokemon to escape. Next, throw one Mud Ball to increase the catch rate, then throw a Safari Ball. If you don't catch it, repeat with one Lure Ball, one Mud Ball, and then another Safari Ball until you succeed. When you encounter a Pokemon you're not interested in, throw a Mud Ball to collect mushrooms. Running away still costs you Z points, so it's best to gain something useful instead of wasting points. Sometimes, even after throwing a Lure Ball, the Pokemon may still escape. In that case, it's just bad luck. Don't worry, it's not because I gave you the wrong advice. The lure ball only reduces the escape rate, but it doesn't guarantee that the Pokemon won't run away. Wait a moment. I'm looking for a Pokemon Supreme to catch and show you if the method for catching while awake can be applied to Pokemon Supreme.
I've found it. This is also a very, very strong Pokemon. I think it's definitely among the top Pokemon worth playing. I caught it in just eight turns, but the strategy for throwing the ball was a bit different. Oh well, as long as it works, that's all that matters. Here's another Supreme Pokemon. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to catch it this time. The strategy will help increase your catch rate, but it doesn't guarantee a 100% success. I hope you understand and keep trying. Sometimes it just takes a bit of luck. <laughs> 